Hello, in this new video, we're going to have a look at the pricing strategy that AppCur enables you to create. Um, it was also a key point for us. We really wanted to have this kind of um, tool because it was like not super user friendly to use an Excel page, let's be honest. So this is, uh, we're going to have a look at the interface. So here is the sales season sales season so basically what it's gonna do is um, it's gonna help you to bring together the potential of your app on one year two year six month whatever let's say three years for example and we're gonna bring we're gonna go back to that in a moment but just to, to show you that here you have uh, an estimation of the device currently on the market right now. So for iPod touches and iPhones, it's roughly 600 million. And for the iPad, it's roughly 200 million. And those numbers are pretty accurate. So if you want to know for how many iPads you are designing, you can go in it. Now, let's come back to the scenario. It's divided into two sections. Here I have the revenue and here I have the expenses and here I have the result. If, for example, I say that my developer cost 5,000 per month and it's going to take about two years to make in the process, you'll see that because my downloads, even with 100,000 units downloaded and a price sell, a price tag uh, roughly one dollar, it's not going to make it a profit. So this is exactly the kind of, of things that we wanted to put in front of the nose of developers. We've been talking with many of them and we we were like sad to hear that they've been working for two years and they are not making any money and they were sad etc and we were like dude you you should have you know you should have just calculate this is like pretty common sense uh so uh, we wanted to give the easiest way to do that and as you can see you can add in-app purchases non-consumable, consumable, subscription, can also make some advertisement-based uh, revenue, the cost per click, cost per meal, uh, cost per action. Each one of them have their own section with adv advices. And you can also add something like license contracts, or for example, you just sold your application for $1 billion to Facebook, but that's another story. So um, I'm gonna delete that. Um, yeah, and that's that's pretty it. Uh, it's very flexible. So you can say that you are hiring a developer at five thousand. It can be just one shot. It can be per month uh, for two years or for maybe four months. It's gonna, you know, AppCooker is going to calculate everything for you. You can just say that it's going to work for you like four days and it's gonna calculate that for you based on uh, 5,000 per month. So that's super smart and super easy to use. There is no other things like, you know, Excel and stuff like that. Once you've made a scenario, you can move them around like that. And you can also duplicate a scenario. Let's say that you made all the expenses right, like uh, the wages. You made also a partner. The partnership will, you know, will ask for 10% 10, 10 of the revenue. Then again, you can calculate that very easily, very fast, and you don't waste your time. And you can find a business model like much faster than before. Um, users. Our users just love it. In the beginning, they, they think that it's like pretty, like not maybe a gadget, but in the end, they really use it and they understand the power be, be, behind it. And here in the upper right corner, you can change the currency. Note that the currency 
I change from US dollar to Euro here, it's going to change all the, what do we call, the solid data. The solid data is the price tier is like a huge table that Apple gave to the developer and say, if your app is sold at tier one and you want to be paid in euros, uh, this, is going, this is what is going to go in your pocket. And this is a pretty complex uh, calculation, um, but in AppCooker, it's super easy. You just select the tier you want to sell to your customers and we calculate everything. Note also that here, Apple charge is automatically subtracted. We don't want you to see what Apple is taking, but note that Apple is paying your taxes, most of them, and roughly when you read the books and you read you know, the articles, they keep only 10% to run their services, the App Store, the R&D, the investment in the new Maiden, um, center data center that is huge and cost billions of dollars so trust me the, I personally think that it's not that huge okay and that's it um, I hope you're gonna enjoy it and trust me you better get a look at your pricing structure before you start coding before even starting to make a market thanks for watching